Hi y'all, welcome back. Today I am thrifting somewhere other than Goodwill, so I'm sure some of you will be excited about that. Um, I'm stopping by a place that once we move, it will no longer be convenient to come by here. I have filmed here once or twice in a video before. It's just like a little church-owned thrift store. They also run the women's shelter, so they do have an antique section that I will show later on in the video, and the prices are a lot higher, but I just give them a pass with that because like I said, they do run the women's shelter, but let's go ahead and start looking around. I'm not looking for anything in particular, but of course, if I find something that I like, I will bring it home and then show you guys my haul at the end. I always get overwhelmed in any thrift store when they have like stacks of plates like this. Well, not only am I filming so it's hard to do it with one hand, but even if I'm not filming and I'm just shopping, I will not go through stacks of plates. I'll just kind of skim and look through the top ones or look and see if there's any designs that I can see peeking out on the edges, but it's just too loud. They like clank around and I'm terrified of breaking one. So they always have this section right here filled with Christmas stuff, but on this day, they had a ton of things out in comparison to what I usually see. So I definitely looked through all of here, hoping to find something vintage. This Santa face to me is so cute when it comes to like vintage Santas. That is the type of face that I love. I didn't get it because I don't need it, but I just love his cute little face.
I really liked this nativity scene. I like that it was all white. Um, you'll see here in a second. They also have a little like the hut. I don't know if that's what it's called, but the hut that they all go under and they wanted $14 for the entire set, which I thought was a pretty good price because they do seem vintage and um, I just like that they were solid white, but I think it was missing one of the wise men. So as you saw, they had a ton of that false graph pattern um, on the other shelf, and then they had all four of these canisters um, priced at $35 for the set, which I thought was a really good deal. I never got into collecting that pattern. I do like them. I think they're really beautiful, but I am starting to see more of that pattern in thrift stores, so I'm wondering if people are kind of over it. I know like about a year or so ago, everyone was like obsessed with collecting that, so I'm wondering if we're going to start seeing them back in stores soon. This light switch reminded me of the Syracuse China pattern. I think it's called Dogwood. I'm not sure if it's an exact match for that, but that's just what I thought of when I picked it up. I thought it was cool. It was also like porcelain or ceramic.
Okay, so this is like their little antique section where everything is priced honestly pretty high. I still look through here. It's very rare that I find something in this section. But every now and then I will find a piece that I like that's priced at like four or five dollars. Um, so I bring it home. But today I did not find anything. I've actually never seen anything like this before, but I love swans. I thought it was gorgeous, and they were asking $80. Okay, so here's what I brought home, the little brass. I'm gonna call it a planter, I'm not sure what it was really for, but I just think it is so pretty. I wanna get a plant, like a live plant to put in it. I'm picturing something like a dark green with small leaves, you know, like a climbing plant um, or an ivy, but it was only $4. I thought that was a decent price, especially since it is brass and people are marking brass up right now, but I think on the side it has little lions, so I just thought that was really cute. I'm excited to get a plant in here, and one day soon I'll be able to show y'all how I am styling these things once we get moved in. But that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not, and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye!